<laughs> wow. Hello YouTube! Back again today. And yesterday we said we're going to do a retro review, which is our first ever retro review. Should be fun. I'm the professor. I'm Bob Lake. And this is uh, Pop Culture Plubs. <laughs> Plubs? <laughs> I, may, I may have had a drink or two. This is the Pop Culture Pub retro review of Demolition Man. Demolition Man. I'm going to pour me a little jack because apparently I need some. It's good for you. Put some hair on your chest. That's right. Now, before we begin, I'm going to say there's going to be spoilers. Lots and lots of fucking spoilers. But it should be fun. So, basic plot of the movie, Stallone, the hero, because I don't think he's capable of being a bad guy. I would love to see him as a bad guy. I, would love I don't to see think him. he'll ever play a bad guy. Well, he was sort of a bad guy in uh, Death Race. Stallone, being his typical hero self, super uber macho man, because we're still living in the 80s as well as the 90s. He gets framed for killing a whole bunch of people when he goes after Simon Phoenix. But you know he didn't kill those fucking people. Send a maniac to catch a maniac, though. It seemed like a good idea at the time. I mean, everything did get demolished. Because he's the demolition man. Exactly. <laughs> so, that happens. He gets put up in jail. Well, future jail. Cryo prison jail. I think the movie was filmed in 92 or 93. And it, it took place in 96 at the beginning. And then it hits like 2047? 2027? Is that it? Is that as far as it goes into the future? I think so. Boy, did they get it wrong. Boy, did they get it wrong. We don't have self-driving cars or cannoli cars either. Or three seashells to wipe our asses. I still want to know how that works. Everybody wants to know how that works. You know, the book that the movie is based on doesn't even talk about how it works. But does it mention the three seashells? It does. Movie, huh? that, that is in the book. But, well, it's sort of a short story. It's not a full book. Well, it anyway, got made into a movie. Yeah, the movie was actually better than the story in my eyes because you had Sylvester Stallone, Wesley Snipes, Sandra Bullock, Benjamin Bratt, Dennis Leary. That's, that's a fairly decent cast at this time. Yeah, it's got that guy from fucking Beetlejuice in it too with the fucking weird hair color in the front. Oh, uh, Assistant Bob. Assistant Bob. <laughs> <laughs> he, looks like a, he looks like a couch. Dennis Leary is great in that movie. Dennis Leary in that movie is basically the personification of his asshole song. He's an asshole! Pretty much. Like, he's just an regular Joe with a regular job. Your average white suburbanite slob. He's an asshole. To keep a man like him interested. Oh no. No no. <laughs> I really Okay, moving on. I I really like that song. I don't want to say like I live that song, but I like it. I like that song. I like Dennis Leary. He's a funny man. But the movie. Back to the movie. Sylvester Stallone. This is this is one of Sylvester Stallone's best fucking movies ever. Best. Easily everyone's top ten. I'm pretty sure it'll be in both of our top fives whenever we get to that list. It's, it's Wesley, one of Wesley Snipes' best movies, too, and I'm sure it'd be in both of our top fives for Wesley Snipes. Most definitely. Most definitely. Don't know what number! I mean, I know what number, but... I, I know what number for mine, but I'm not going to tell you. You fuckers haven't heard it yet. Yeah, wait till you get to fucking watch the video. Right. We're getting sidetracked again. Okay. I feel like we've drank too much today. We drink a lot. A little bit. A little bit? A little bit of a lot? A little bit of a lot. We have this conversation a lot. Oh, man. But there's so much alcohol. I mean, look at, look at this. It's like a smorgasbord of booze. Smorgasbord of liquor. Except I'm drinking beer. I'm drinking Jack right now, actually. It's good for you. Haven't we established? Don't put hair in your chest. <laughs> Back to the movie. Back to the movie. I think we ran out of bullet anyway. Oh well. Anyway, so... I got some bullet right here. Yeah, but I got Jack right here. Well, fuck you then. <laughs> 
So, Simon Phoenix, Wesley Snipes character, does figure out a way to frame Sylvester Stallone for murdering a busload of people. A busload? Yeah, it was a busload. Remember, he stole, he hijacked an L.A. bus. He went on this whole spiel like, the mailman got it, they did the, scan. the police got it, but the goddamn bus drivers just wouldn't get it. That was his area. Whatever. I love the way he was, but the goddamn bus drivers. <laughs> anyway, so they both get put in the freezer. Then they get thawed. Well, Phoenix breaks out. Phoenix gets... They, they enhance him while he's in there with all these training fucking mental stimulation videos. Teach him karate. And then he gets released because they want to take care of Dennis Leary's character. Edgar Friendly. Edgar Friendly. Don't you have someone to kill? Edgar Friendly. <laughs> but anyway, that's, that, that's the generic... That, that, or that's the basis for what the whole plot of the movie revolves around. Yep. And then it backfires on Cocteau's plan. That's right. Because they want the police decide to release the Demolition Man. Yep. Because they're not trained for that kind of violence. And you got to send a maniac to catch a maniac. Exactly. Which works out, sort of. And this has his favorite car. Oh, Oldsmobile four four two, bro. That's right. Oh, God, I love that car. And that fucking scene. Oh! Anyway, sidetracked. Back to the movie. Back to the movie. Back to the movie. Ooh, I'm a little fuzzy. Why are you so fuzzy? I don't know. You, yeah, whatever. We're both fuzzy. We're both working on lots of booze. So, hijinks ensue when they get out. Uh, there's always that man out of time aspect that they play with. You know, like, uh, they even make jokes, uh, I can't remember the one joke that they make about him being a man out of time, but it's Lenina Huxley, who's played by Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock. Mm, she was definitely attractive in this movie. Dude, her uniform is like the most sexualized uniform ever. It really is. They put her in. They put her in leggings, high waisted and, leggings. Yeah, and then, and then the, the the leather jacket up top it cuts off right at her waist, so it like emphasizes the the flare of the hips and the ass. I, what's her face was originally cast in that role. Was Lori Petty? Really? I don't think it would have been the same. They even did like three days of filming or some shit. Yeah, they probably said she couldn't. She wasn't quite right. Something along those lines. I'm pretty sure it was three days of filming. It could, I, I could be mixing it up with something else because I know she got cast for a couple movies and recast, but she was originally supposed to be that part. I think it was actually intended 100% when they made the movie to have her be that part. And then Sandra Bullock kind of got yeah, it. Yeah, but Lori Petty did great in Tank Girl. She did great in Point Break. Ooh, she did do great in Point Break. But sidetrack again! They do this every fucking time. There's so many movies that we like to bring up and talk about because, well, when you're slightly tipsy, your train of thought gets a little weird. I'm not slightly tipsy. He's slightly tipsy. You'd like to think he's not slightly tipsy. Anyway, back to the movie. So, it's a lot of fun. There's lots of good action scenes. Uh, a sex scene between Stallone and... Well, it's not... You don't even see Stallone. It's not the hunk of chunka. It's not the hunk of chunka. <laughs> it doesn't lead kids smoking and a desire to raid the fridge. That's how it went. Yeah. But uh, when you see the flashes of the sex scene, it is not Sandra Bullock. They used a body double. How do you know that, Professor? I looked it up. Inquiring minds had to know, namely my inquiring mind. <laughs> Yeah, she actually doesn't really show real nudity in that, except for like split you, seconds. You get you get like a, a flash of titty. You do get full nudity in this movie, though. It's just not Sandra Bullock. It is not. It Sandra is Bullock. a blonde woman who shows up on a TV monitor calling the wrong room. Yes, which is weird because it seemed like it was just out there, completely random. But great. Yeah. If you like boobies. I mean, most guys do like boobies. It's all about the boobies. Where were we at in the plot? I forget. 
You know, we haven't given a rating for this movie yet. Oh, shit. Where would you rate the movie? I would rate the movie a 9.5. I'd give it a 9. Yeah, I fucking love Demolition Man. We're, we're f- watch the movie. And if you haven't watched the movie yet, I, I gotta be honest. What? Why are you watching us? Yeah. Go fucking watch the movie. Watch the movie. Come back to us later. Yeah. Like, what we, the fuck? We can wait. The movie can't. It might die. It... I don't think it's gonna die. Well, maybe, maybe... Is it on a streaming service right now? I have no idea. I own it, so... I mean, I own it. <laughs> But watch the movie. Have fun with it. It's a great movie. I think it's like an hour and 50 minutes or something like that. Totally worth watching. Totally worth watching. Wesley Snipes does great. So many one-liners. So many quips. Watch your boggle. Might as well watch it now, too, because Sylvester Sloan keeps dropping hints that they're going to be making a sequel. It's in pre-production, according to him, actually, in his last post. I'm completely okay with the sequel. Maybe we'll finally get a way of how the three seashells work. They're never going to explain the three seashells. Ever. Ever. He's always gonna have to cuss into that little boom, boom, boom thing just to get fucking paper to wipe his ass. Or he could just like get like napkins. Actually, to be honest, with the way the movie ends, maybe all that shit is kaput and they're back to fucking normal. What I don't understand is since we have the technology for bidets right now, why are the three seashells thing a thing? Maybe people don't like their ass being wet. Anyway, stereotypical action movie where good guy defeats evil. That's how it ends. Pretty much, yeah. So, Everybody dies. So if you're expecting some, like, weird fucking bullshit ending where the villain wins... This is no Donnie Darko. Th- th- this... Right? We should do that sometime. Yeah, maybe we will. I love that movie. Yeah. I have to rewatch it, though, because it's been a while. Yeah, we should watch it together and check it out. Pretty much, yeah. Maybe you guys will see a video on that one. Maybe it'll come sooner than you think. Maybe it won't. You'll have to subscribe to find out. And like. Like this fucking video. Yeah. If you're watching this video, fucking like it. Just a little thumbs up. Just a little click. We, we appreciate you. It, it literally... Like, he hates you, but I love you. That's fair. <laughs> but that's our, our, our little talk about the video, the movie. Check it out. Literally. Check it out. Have fun. Watch this movie. If you like Sylvester Stallone, watch this movie. If you like movie. Sandra Bullock. If you like Dennis Leary. If you like Wesley Snipes. If you like Benjamin Bratt. If you like Rob Schneider. Who really likes the Rob Schneider, though? Everybody likes Rob Schneider. I mean, they don't like him, but they appreciate his existence. I mean, he is pretty funny. Yeah, and all the movies he's featured in. Not the movies he stars in. Yeah. The movies he stars in are usually pretty lame. Although, the first time I saw The Animal, I laughed a lot. What was the other, like, the, the real popular movie he did? Deuce Bigelow, Male Gigolo? Well, don't forget a sequel, European Gigolo. That one was fucking awful. Anyway, that's enough to talk about a totally different movie than what we're supposed to be talking about. Exactly! But, you know, we've, we've talked for a little while to you, and apparently I'm drunker than I thought. It happens. I, I did just chug some chat. Good for you. Put my chest. Anyway. <laughs> subscribe, like, we appreciate it. Yeah. Get to it. And watch the movie if you have. Or watch it again if you have. And we'll see you tomorrow. Be well. Be fucked.